So I'm going through an old junk drawer today and I found this little blast from the past. Perfectly good operational old school iPod. So I'm thinking, you know, I got a lot of good music on here and this is a nice device. What could I do to this to kind of update it, make it a little more user friendly? Ah, you think what I'm thinking? Bluetooth. Let's do it. Okay, like I said, I've got uh, a few of these laying around the house and uh, I thought, you know, we don't need to really throw these away or anything. These are perfectly good operational music storage devices. You guys remember these, right? I believe this is a Nano, correct? But anyway, I don't know. This is a little 8 gig unit. Works great. Uh, sounds good. But there's only one problem. It doesn't have Bluetooth. So, we got to change that. So, what I was thinking we could do is Bluetooth this so we can listen to this out in the yard, in the shop, out on the patio, wherever, in the house, doing dishes, housework, computer work, whatever. All right, let's, uh, let's get started. So, what I'm using is I'm using the JBL Flip 4. Bluetooth speaker. It's a nice sounding little speaker. I've got the Micus RTX 2.0. This is a Bluetooth transmitter and receiver. Today we're going to use this as a transmitter. When you get the Micus, you'll get the the, the wall adapter, the ace, uh, the uh, the power cord for it, and then you'll get this handy dandy little patch cord, this audio cord here, which is two 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks. For this uh, particular installation, this is what we're going to use. First off, we've got the charging port and whatnot for the uh, iPod, and then we have the headphone jack. So let's put this in here. Got that in. I've already paired the Micus to the JBL. It's a very simple operation, and I'll have a video out on how to do that and a rundown on this thing. On the back, of the transmitter. We have our input connector here for the other end of our 3.5 millimeter, so we'll put that in there. We're all paired up. We're good to go. Now, let's see if I, this is the true test kit. I remember how to use this thing. Oh boy. Alrighty, let's try it. Let's hit play. Hit some volume. Okay, so what we've done is we've now brought back a semi-worthless product and actually made it so we could uh, continue enjoying it. Um, and what I mean by worthless is, I mean, you know, I don't know about you, but I don't walk around with earphones in my ears anymore or earbuds. Uh, I just don't do it. What I do like to do is I'll take one of my Bluetooth speakers and take that out to the shop with me or outside. And by utilizing this transmitter, we can do this. Now, if you leave this set up in the house, this is gonna go uh, over 100 feet. I've gotten actually about 200 plus feet out of this. So depending on where it's set, you're gonna get you know decent range with it. Definitely throughout the house with this setup for sure. And again, we've got our old iPod back. Cool. All right. That's how we're Bluetoothing an old school iPod. Get them out, guys. Fun stuff. All right. If you like this video, please subscribe. I'm going to put a link in the description to this unit, to purchase this unit, and to purchase this JBL unit as well. So, thumbs up. All right, everybody be safe and thanks for watching.